Dear flag. Dear flag of the United States of America. Dear old glory. Thank you. I just need to tell you how deeply proud I am of you. And I want to thank you for all you endure. I have always loved you. And at first it frustrated me to see others not stand for you. Right or wrong, it angered me. It hurt me. But now with a little patience, a little listening, I find my heart is full. This powerful video made by wounded veterans and athletes giving their take on the national anthem debate. The video produced by the Adaptive Training Foundation, that's a Dallas gym run by a former NFL linebacker who decided to focus not just on people in top physical condition, but also on those who suffered life-altering injuries, often on the battlefield. Dave Babora is the founder and CEO of ATF and a former Mr. Irrelevant, the last player chosen in the 2008 NFL Draft who somehow managed not to just make a team, but to play four years of professional football. So uh, congrats on that, Dave. Thank you, Rick. It's good to be here. It's good to see you again. The anthem debate has divided many Americans, and your video is taking a very different approach to this controversy. Yeah, I think if we focus on what we want to move away from, we kind of stay stagnant. But if we can fix our eyes on something that we want to move toward, that's a whole different focus. And so the, the intent behind this video was to, perhaps through the lens of gratitude, invite all people into a story. And that inclusion is one for us as Americans to be grateful and to show gratitude to the fact that we can even have the conversation. And a lot of the veterans that are in that video, in fact, were the ones that said, I'll never watch an NFL game again, right? I'm burning my stuff. And I was the one as a former NFL player to say, well, let's hold on a second. You know, and we went deep and we had some hard conversations, which ultimately led us to making the Deer Flag video. I met a couple of the guys in that video when I met you in Dallas for that Marine Corps Law Enforcement Foundation event. And these are obviously some very brave people who lost limbs or suffered catastrophic injuries. And they're getting some pretty special attention, in, as we can see in, in the videos here. Yeah, you know, when President Bush and Speaker Ryan came and visited our gym earlier this summer, Bush looked at him and said, look, your greatest opportunity as a leader is in front of you. And I believe that because I think this is the type of statement. Look, it doesn't matter who goes first in this situation because we can't we can't move forward without each other. So I believe great leadership is about doing what you can, where you are with what you have. And that's what these veterans and civilians from the Adaptive Training Foundation have done. And, and they pose specific challenges for you as a trainer because they're missing limbs. Sure. Yeah. You know, I think impossible is only an opinion. And these guys, they embody what it is to have the indomitable human spirit. And we're all humans. And so I think we're quick to sometimes marginalize our own capabilities. You know, and I hear people say, well, my vote doesn't matter. Well, I don't believe that. I believe that how we create a systemic change is by empowering people. And I think that this Deer Flag movement, you know, what we've been flooded with on the DeerFlag.com website is people's emails writing in saying, hey, I would have never thought I'd be writing this. But I'm writing this to you saying that somehow your video changed something for me. You know, I, I still I will still stand or I will still kneel and that's OK. But how do we create a narrative or how can we prove that there's even a conversation to be had out of kindness and respect? And the theme of that video is basically that what the flag stands for is what enables people to kneel and others to stand. It's, it's the rights that we have that are so important. Yeah, I think all men are created equal, right? Our Constitution says that. So if you believe in freedom, justice, and equality, we have to be quick to be able to say, look, this is what I stand for, this is what you stand for, and, and let's figure out a way that those intersect. Because where they do, that's what this country is all about. That's why I think people from different countries want to come here. This is the American dream. But I, I, in this current state, this climate is so volatile that people can't see through that. So I think the only way to create a perspective is to look to people like this, that at some level through our society has been marginalized. You know, they've been treated almost as less than. And, and in this case, as, as football players, that it sometimes are treated as almost a commodity or almost as something that is, you know, expendable, um, we have to look at our deep worth as human beings. And I think that's what our Constitution stands for. And that's why, you know, I'm here to fight for the social injustices and for that flag. When you played for the Rams and the Seahawks, players weren't kneeling mm -hmm. during the national anthem. And I wonder what you would have done. You know, again, I think that there's a part of this team atmosphere in solidarity that, that, that matters. And you go to, go to sweat and to bleed for these guys and put your body on the line. And I think that's an internal conversation. You know, again, I think that America needs a place to go from where we are. And so that's why we want to fix our gaze outside of even what the players are doing and, and labeling that as protest. Because we know it's not actually against the veterans. It's not actually against those freedoms. It, it is, in fact, against something totally different. So how do we move to a different arena so that people can stop focusing on you know, what is so emotionally charged? 
Dave, we want to encourage folks to go to DeerFlag.com and check out this video. And we also yeah. want to know from you, what would you tell people if, if they want to get involved on some level with the kinds of things that you're doing? You know, again, I'm wearing this shirt. I think this is, if you find yourself in this story, uh, I think everyone has their own Deer Flag narrative. And so s submit that to us, right, on DeerFlag.com, right, whether that's in writing or in a video submission. We want to know. I want to encourage youth and young people to be able to prove that we can have this conversation. And, and again, regardless of whether you think you're a leader, I'm, I'm empowering you and I'm qualifying you that you are. And that is something that we do at the gym. And that's why this video was made, because people were willing to say, hey, look, uh, I may not like it, it may be uncomfortable, but I'm willing to stand in the fact that we can be grateful for what that flag represents. Dave Boren with the Adaptive Training Foundation. Dave, we appreciate your time tonight. Thanks very much. Thank you, Rick.